How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Human crew. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Uh, let's talk about Gil first. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. I like that. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. I'd like to... I'm sure Skylar would like to bury himself into Gil. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. <laughs> Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps. But he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. True. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. I think so too. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Mm. Tight-lipped about himself though. Mmm, I want to know more about Kalo, Jath. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Yeah, that sounds... that probably is the best, for the best. Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. <laughs> Thanks for the insight. Becoming a doctor. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. Oh. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Wow. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. Well, it's really cool to get to find out a little bit more about yourself, Dr. Lexi. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Thank you. Strike team missions. Awaiting debrief. Debrief view results on the release of your strike team. Oh. Mission failure. Identify the spy. Identify enemy loadouts. Identify the spy. Send your chance of success. Time required. Hopefully they'll gain levels from this. Uncover enemy plans. Search and destroy. All right. Research center. All right, let's do some research. Um. Oh, sell all salvage. Confirm trade. This is the vendor, not the researcher. Research center. Weapons, armor. Research data um, earns from, from scanning to unlock new weapon and armor blueprints or gain access to powerful augmentations. Augmentations. Oh, yes, I remember these. Yes. You may apply one automatic item during the, the development process. For the last 20% of the clip's ammo, gain plus 10% extra damage. Increase weapon accuracy by 10% when standing still. Automatic refills automatically after a delay. Interesting. Sticky grenade launcher. Equilibrium regulator. Armor. Back in the Milky Way, Tom commanded systems that were given a dense scientific donation. Hyper Guardian legs. 
Okay. Weapons. Krogan hammer. Oh wow, sorry, sword. Black Widow sniper rifle. Venom shotgun, piranha shotgun. Okay. Aerial lubricant. When hovering. I don't think I can hover yet. I don't think I can hover yet, right? Electrical conduits. Equilibrium when slow when moving slowly with a drawn weapon. Ultra rare. Rare. Ultra rare. And then armor. Then in the development portion, biotic amplifier, phalanx, raptor sniper rifle one, phalanx pistol one, maddox, katana shotgun, incisor sniper rifle, biotic amplifier, carnifax pistol two. Discipline shotgun, incisor sniper rifle, katana sniper, sniper rifle, phalanx pistol 2. Rate of fire, maclip size, accuracy. Phalanx pistol. Uncommon. Materials required, augmentations. All right. I need some time to think about, you know, what I want to, how I want to craft before Strike I actually do ready it. For deployment. So Metro, I hear that Joker was doing poker too. Where'd you hear that? A little Brody told her. A little Brody? Ah. It was a close game. It did give me a better game than Drac. Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. Let's get a game going with everyone else and hone our skills and take him out. Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. Oh. Oh. Gil, you don't need your clothes, do you? Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Oh, Gil, you got nothing new to say to me? Oh. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. Too many. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. Right. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Except Gil doesn't have anything new to say. Come on, game. Oh, it's so much disappoint. All right, fine. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Very romantic. I like that idea. Food first, then flowers. I like that idea. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well... I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. That's Why? what Commander Shepard says. The initiative says. would suit you better. 
was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Sounds... Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. I like that response that Skylar gave. Like it's not when he says it sounds like she was more concerned. She cared more about what you needed than what you wanted. Because that sounds like what his relationship with his father was like. I think his father was had the attitude of caring about Skylar, what Skylar needed more than what Skylar wanted. And maybe that might have caused some distance from from them. Nothing certain. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? Even though he was distant from his dad, he still respected his dad. A lot, actually. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. None of this is fair. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. I would like that. I would like for you to have your roses. That, that was, I like that conversation with Cora. Ryder? What do you know about the Asari Ark? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. Too, yeah, all right. Keep See trying. You later, Cora. I'll be here. Hey, Liam, buddy. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. I'm interested in you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he's, he's like, ah, that's kind of forward. My skill as a Pathfinder. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm still holding out for Brody. I'm holding out for Brody. We'll talk later. I love... I, know I love Liam. I love, 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 love Liam. But again, he's more like it's more like it's more of a brotherly love. Fetra. Terraforming Atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? If we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. <laughs> I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Okay. Gotta find everybody else. 
Where's Drac? Where's PB? Where's Drac? There's the med bay. I don't know where Drac and PB are. I'm looking for them. Uh, don't give ah. a Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Roshan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she mm. can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Oh, Kesh is his granddaughter. I like the no trouble plan. How about we stick with that? <laughs> Kesh said not too much trouble, kid. Not no trouble. The cat makes sure some trouble's always coming for you. That's not reassuring. Life out here ain't reassuring. You'll get used to it. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. Mm -hmm. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Good. Can't That's argue with that. Yes. That's good, Drac. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in Assistant Director. No. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. I never knew the term Rushan before this game. Interesting. I like her. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Ha, huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. Now she's pretty awesome that way. I have no problems believing that. Yeah, she told me off good. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Cash's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Cash all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Mm. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. The works. Even some farming. Really? Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. I'm hoping we'll be able to get to see this Krogan colony. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now, centuries, shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. I'm sure that helps. How about Sam? Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comms, sure, but that's where it stops. 
putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Tell me about it. Yeah, I think he wouldn't ask why. I think he kind of agrees. I'm not thrilled about it myself, but it is what it is. Just make sure it can't unshackle itself. There'll be hell to pay if that happens. Tell me more about Why this. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah. More like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Mm. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. The way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. Skylar kind of agrees. Those Krogan got screwed over. And they have a right to be angry and upset. And that, we need to, we need to, you know, fix that and make them whole again. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits like the ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. All right. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, hey Drac. One last thing. Yeah? Do you call everyone kid? Don't call me kid. No, do you call everyone kid? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. How about the Asari? Fair enough. I don't think Skylar minds him calling him kid. He kind of likes that. Finds Neckmore Drac, Krogan Betrayal. Finds Spender on Nexus. Ooh, I think that's our first, our first uh, loyalty mission. Ooh. Okay, where's PB? Crew info board. Lost and found coffee mug. Found a mug yesterday near the bio lab. Nice one with a magnetized base. You left it stuck sideways to a bulkhead. Cora comments. That's mine. I just put it down for a second. My hands are full. Suvi. Next time, maybe empty it first. Cora. Drac and PB are officially on the team. I finished the assignment paperwork for the Nexus. Had to fudge a few details, but you're both officially members of the Pathfinder team. Welcome. And Drac, I just wanted to check in publicly about what I said. Cora comments, relax, Harper. The best headbutt is always the one you don't see coming. Drac, I'll keep that in mind. Cora. Where is PB? Liam, Vetra, Drac, Sam, Gil, Gil, Lexi, Quora, PB, Kahlo, Suvi. All right, they're all in the bridge or in towards the bridge. Okay. Hi, Gil. Talk to you later, Gil. Okay. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? You're setting up in here. Oops. Huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. 
This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Not sticking around? Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... Mm. I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the where field you came from. while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Well, I, I don't know. I kind of value learning where you come from. I mean, yeah, it's important what you are now, but learning where you came from helps appreciate who you are now. Trey should try sleeping more. Boredom drove you here? You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No. I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's all I need to know then. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Mm -hmm. Yes! I'm number one! <laughs> nice. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Okay. Then again, something... Don't get any ideas. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got All right. It. You want me to bribe you to, to get to know you more. All right, PB, that's fine. I like how it sort of pokes fun at the idea that, you know, it's, she's basically saying, just because you're walking around the ship talking to everybody means that I'm just gonna open up to you like that. Come on, Ryder, come on. I, I kind of think that's pretty cool. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? How about your current project? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. <laughs> what was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. Uh -huh. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Hmm. What drew you to the remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech... It's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. Maybe. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem... Busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's Cora. Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? My turn to talk. She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across, too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a sorry. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. Well, good. I'm glad that you seem to be getting along with them okay. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. All right, well, I'll leave you to You're it. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> 